very pleased to ask um, the local MP, Seema Malhotra, just to say a few words to um, open our speakers uh, from outside. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Sharon, and thank you, Linda. And it is a great pleasure and honour to be able to be here tonight. I think first for us all to congratulate Dr. Nasimi on this most wonderful achievement. And I think it's time maybe to give you a round of applause. Yeah. First one of the <laughs> evening gentlemen. But I also want to recognise um, Mrs. Nasimi and the family because when it comes to public service and the service done uh, for refugees, as you do, and for so many others across the community, it is the people also who are working with you and those who support you in your service that are also the heroes and hidden heroes sometimes alongside you and along with, I know, so many here who are part of the ACA family. I also want to just say a few words because we have um, worked together over a number of years and, uh, and it is, I think, um, as a matter of pride for the community to see your success uh, in achieving the MBE, but also the work that has um, uh, been on the way and the achievement of the Queen's Award uh, for volunteering, for which I know we were um, there, and I think the Mayor and uh, others um, across Hounslow um, being around to support. But I will just say, as I think um, Sharon has said so powerfully, that the work that um, you have helped lead here has made um, a huge difference to the lives of so many. We know how it was when just a couple of years ago we saw the Taliban return to Afghanistan and the desperate nature of those who were fleeing, those who were struggling to know what they could possibly do next, all of those who are here, coming here, are asking for support for their loved ones, for their family. And the desperate nature of this across the world with the sense of powerlessness over what we could do. But this place, with the many that came here and when we were able to set up a small support surgery with people able to take their information for relatives from those across Belton and Heston, in that time of great struggle and great darkness, it was a place at least of some hope that the stories could be heard, that witness could be given, that people could be advocated for, that we could do all we could to advocate for government policy to be stronger, that we could work cross-party on how we could achieve that. And the cases, so a number of those cases that came through then are ones that we still are working on. They are still a big part of our lives in Parliament. And whenever there is a debate goes on, I think just um, earlier this week as well, I will always go into the chamber and be seeking to ask something that will be a support to the families um, who are still either looking to leave or who have left and are stuck in a third country, because the story is not over yet. The story is one that is ongoing, and for those who manage to get out, who are now struggling to make it, whether it's to the UK or other countries, to be able to start their lives, are living their lives in limbo, and the world must not forget about them. And I also just want to recognise the work that goes on, the wider work, which is, I know for the refugees and um, the Ukraine story, and the, the support that Sharon has also mentioned, but there is wider work that happens here that is extremely important whether that is the ESOL teaching, because when you have language, you have access to so much more, or it is the support for entrepreneurship, and particularly women entrepreneurs. I know we have Stephen Fry here and uh, Westmont and um, University of West London, and the partnerships are significant and important in ensuring um, that opportunity um, can be realized. But also the work that goes on with young people uh, and um, and making sure that people also have advice, support and friendship. So I want to uh, just acknowledge the work that goes on to thank you and all the volunteers and all those who are involved for that work. And I'm sure tonight, which is in your honour, um, to say congratulations on behalf of us all. Thank you. Thank you.